It is estimated that there are between 7 and 20 million illegal immigrants living in the United States. These people make up not only adults that have immigrated here from neighboring countries, but also their children that they brought along. The issue of illegal immigration has surfaced the United States for a while. And now, the youth that were brought here under their parents' wrongdoing are trying to find shortcuts to securing their citizenship in the United States. We, the melting pot immigrants that have sacrificed many, many years of our lives to complete a full legal process to start a new life in the United States, believe that the DREAM Act is not the, in the best interest of any U.S. citizen or legal resident, but rather helping current and future illegal immigrants find a loophole into citizenship. Because as you can see, they are still coming. The DREAM Act is a moral imperative, and with that being said, passing the act will not stop illegal immigration from happening, but may even become an incentive for parents to bring their youth to this country. The DREAM Act gives foreigners the idea that is their golden ticket into becoming a U.S. citizen and acquiring education in the United States. If they can cross the border with their child, the DREAM Act will allow a child to have a fulfilling life just as the parents wanted. Many that support the DREAM Act would say that the youth should not be punished through the consequences of their parents' decisions, but we are not taking away their right to a college education. We hope that these kids will decide to invest in their education. We just believe that they should not receive the reward of a discounted price of in-state tuition. In-state tuition is a benefit that should only be given to U.S. citizens and legal immigrants. The DREAM Act supporters would suggest the passage of the DREAM Act will increase revenue in our community and raise the number of high-skilled workers in our society. But what they fail to mention is that the government is responsible for proving that applicants do or do not meet the requirements to receive the benefits of the Act. This requires a large amount of government funds to be wasted on merely figuring out the status of these illegal immigrants when that money could be used to fund programs for our own citizens and legal immigrants. In 2012, Obama passed the DACA, which stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. The DACA allows people who immigrated as children to the United States a temporary dreamer permit and be temporarily safe from deportation for two years. DACA does not grant permission to apply for a green card or a citizenship, so in reality, we are giving illegal immigrants up to two years of work in the United States when those jobs that would be taken could be given to the U.S. or legal immigrants that would be able to hold their position for a longer period of time. The DREAM Act is also very vulnerable to fraud. In 1986, a quarter of the beneficiaries granted amnesties by the government were liars. This includes a leader in the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center. The DREAM Act explicitly prohibits the persecution of someone who lies on an amnesty application. If there was a stipulation that false claims would be met with imprisonment, that would be fine. But there is no such clause. We as immigrants that have gone through the legal process of acquiring visas and citizenship feel robbed of our hard work and don't agree with the process of illegal immigrants gaining the benefits that we have worked hard to achieve. Please join us, Melting Pot Immigrants, in our fight against the DREAM Act by signing our petition online and voting. Get out of my head.